Good morning, brothers and sisters. We wish to gratefully acknowledge our Novena Mass sponsors, Mr. and Mrs. Venancio Corsino and family. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other diseases and those who have died, for proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders, for those who send their private intentions, for the benefactors and friends of the Basilica, and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray to Oracio Imperata. Please kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, to restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to testifying cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts as the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady of Piat, Help of the Sea, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for San us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for San us. San Pedro Calungsor, Pray for Santo us. San Santo Domingo de Guzman, Pray for us. Novena in honor of Saint Dominic de Guzman, Prayer for every day. Most merciful Lord, O Father of love and goodness, behold, I prostrate myself before thy divine majesty to implore pardon for my faults and sins. I admit to my confusion that many times have I neglecting my baptismal vows, abandoned thy righteous ways to engulf myself in the ocean of vice and sin. I have offended thee, my Lord, but I am also aware that the more I wandered away from thee, the more anxiously and solicitously didst thou seek me. In the end, thy grace filled my heart with repentance. That is why thou seest me now bow low before thee, confessing my sins and humbly begging forgiveness. But aware too of my own unworthiness, I come not alone. I take for my intercessor thy faithful servant, Saint Dominic of Guzman, confident that I shall obtain all that my soul desires to need. Prayer for the sin, for the eighth day. Most loving Father Saint Dominic, who during life did enjoy so extraordinary a predilection in the heart of Mother of God, Mary most holy, with the love with which thou didst now correspond to generously propagating everywhere the rosary of Mary, obtain that I too may know to love this sweet mother, if it was the burning love you had for her which impelled you to give yourself readily, wholeheartedly, and to utmost. Of your strength to the service of God, then let this same love be mine also, that will bring me to life eternal. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Litany of Saint Dominic. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on Christ us. Christ have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Glorious Father Saint Dominic, pray for us, follower of Jesus Christ, pray for us, eminently endowed with the virtues of Sacred Heart, pray for us, adore of the Blessed Sacrament, pray for us, singularly devoted to our Blessed Lady, pray for us, promoter of her honor, pray for us, promulgator of the Holy Rosary, pray for us, splendor of the priesthood. Pray for us, founder of the friar preachers. Pray for us, confounder of the Albigenses. Pray for us, reviver of the ecclesiastical discipline. Pray for us, rose of patience. Pray for us, most ardent of salvation of souls. Pray for us, most desirous of martyrdom. Pray for us, evangelical man. Pray for us, doctor of truth. Pray for us, ivory of chastity. Pray for us, man of truly apostolic heart. Pray for us, poor in the means of riches. Pray for us, rich in unexpected life. Pray for us, burning with zeal for perishing souls. Pray for us, preacher of the gospel. Pray for us, rule of abstinence. Pray for us, herald of heavenly things. Pray for us, salt of water. Pray for us, who did water the earth with thy precious blood. Pray for us, shining in choir of virgins. Pray for us, Saint Dominic most humble. Pray for us, Saint Dominic most chaste. Pray for us, Saint Dominic most charitable. Pray for us, that at the hour of death we may be received into heaven with thee. O Lord, deliver us. Be merciful unto us, O Lord, and pardon us. O Lord, deliver us. Be merciful unto us, O Lord, and graciously hear us. O Lord, deliver us from all evil and sin. O Lord, deliver us from the snares of the devil. O Lord, deliver us from eternal death. O Lord, deliver us by the merits of the Holy Father, Saint Dominic. O Lord, deliver us by his ardent love. O Lord, deliver us by His indefatigable zeal. O Lord, deliver us by His extraordinary labors. O Lord, deliver us by His inexpressible penances. O Lord, deliver us by His voluntary poverty. O Lord, deliver us by His perpetual chastity. O Lord, deliver us by His perfect obedience. O Lord, deliver us by His profound humility. O Lord, deliver us by His rare constancy. O Lord, deliver us by all His other virtues. O Lord, deliver us, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Father, Saint Dominic, that He may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Final prayer. I give you thanks, O my God, for the infinite mercies. I of myself am nothing, worth nothing, but because thou hast loved me, I feel myself most grateful to thee. Grant me, O Lord, a clear knowledge of my Christian dignity, so that ever mindful of it, I may always look up to thee, the center of my aspirations and yearnings. Nothing on all creation can satisfy my heart. Only thee, fount of all good, shall I find my peace and happiness for eternity. Pray for us, O Blessed Father Dominic, that you may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down by the burden of sins may be relieved by the patronage of Saint Dominic, thy confessor, our Father, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Dominic de Guzman, pray for us. <laughs> Please stand.
Sing to the Lord with shouts of joy, let all creation rejoice. Come join the song of praise to our God, He is the Lord, He is the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the feast day of the transfiguration of the Lord. God revealed to us His glory. And so let us try to configure ourselves in His love and mercy to one another. In a special way, today, we celebrate the eighth day novena in preparation for the feast day of our patron saint, Saint Dominic de Guzman. We ask for his intercession and guidance into our life. We include our personal intentions and for those who ask for our prayers. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most gracious fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Sins of the world have mercy 
Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. In the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to your sonship, grant we pray to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with Him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was a snow bride, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire, a surging wheel of burning fire, a surging stream of fire, pulled out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one look like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one, and was presented before him. The one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages served him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Cloud and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, all peoples see his glory. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. Because you, O Lord, are the Most High over all the earth, 
exalted far above all gods. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory. This is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it, as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up a mountain to pray. While he was praying, his face changed in appearance and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, Two men were conversing with him, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his exodus that he was going to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions had been overcome by sleep, but becoming fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As they were about to part from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But he did not know what he was saying. While he was still speaking, a cloud came and cast a shadow over them, and they became frightened when they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved, this is my chosen son. Listen to him. After the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. They fell silent and did not at the time tell anyone what they had seen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the Feast of Transfiguration. In a layman's term, transfiguration means change of appearance or change in form. And we can see this in the Gospel. While Jesus was praying, his face changed appearances. Ibig sabihin, biglang nagliwanag yung mukha ni Jesus. Not only his face, but even his clothes. Meaning to say, my dear brothers and sisters, 
it is a foretaste of the future glory of Jesus Christ. It is a foretaste. Unang patikim pa lamang kung ano yung ibibigay ng Diyos sa atin. So the Peter, James, and John witnessed this glory of Jesus Christ while he was praying. And so my dear brothers and sisters, if we try to look at it, the action of Jesus, he was praying. Prayer is very much important in our life, or even in the life of Jesus. Nung nagdarasal siya, biglang nagliwanag yung maka niya. Ibig sabihin, God is with him. Tignan niyo po, if we are praying, pag nagdarasal tayo ng taimtim, talagang dinarama natin yung presensya ng Diyos, we feel that we are with God, parang ang gaan ng ating pakiramdam, feeling natin, wala tayong problemang pasakit, yung mukha natin, naglugluming, kaya gloomy face, sabi natin, because we are imbibing or we imbibe the presence of God into our life. Kaya nga kung isipin natin, yung taong katatapos lang magdasal or makimisa paglabas ng simbahan, there is something in his face or her face that it seems that God answered his prayers or God touches her life during that moment of her prayer time. And that is why makikita sa kanyang mukha. And so, on the contrary, yung taong problemado, ano yung mapapansin nyo sa kanya? Palaging nakasimangot. Parang hindi mo ma-explain yung mukha niya. Because he is burdened. He has a problem. He has a difficulties in life and trials for that matter. My dear brothers and sisters, this phase of transfiguration is that telling us that our Lord transfigured Himself to God the Father. He followed the will of, the God, of God the Father to do His mission on earth. He was transfigured to do good things. And so, just like Jesus, He followed the will of the Lord. Ganon din po tayo. We need to configure ourselves. We need to configure ourselves in the, in the life of Jesus. Sa papaanong paraan. We need to have a prayerful moment with God. Meron sana tayong prayer life. We need to value prayer into our life. Sabi nga nila, pag tayo'y madasala, madasalin, kahit anong pagsubok sa buhay, alam natin na malalampasan natin. Because God is with us. Jesus, after His mission, after His ministry, He find time to pray to God the Father. Ganun din po sana tayo. Let us try to find time to pray to the Father and ask for strength and courage to face life. Yun naman po yung buhay natin bilang Kristiyano. That we need to pray daily. Not only we pray during time of or times of difficulties, pag namomablema tayo, sakalang natin may isip, Lord, tulungan mo ako. May problema ako. Lord, tulungan mo ako. May pinagdaraanan ako. But prayer should be part of our life. Yan na yung number one sana na parte ng ating buhay. Our prayerful life. That even wala tayong nareceive na blessing or even every day of our life is a blessing. We need to praise God and pray to Him. We need to configure ourselves in the life of Jesus Christ. Another thing would be the voice that comes from the cloud. This is my chosen son. Listen to him. 
Listening is part of our life. We need to listen to the Word of God, my dear brothers and sisters. Kailangan nating pakinggan yung mga salita ng Diyos. Kasi ang salita ng Diyos makapagbibigay sa atin ng direction, makapagbibigay sa atin ng pag-asa, makapagbibigay sa atin ng kabuluhan sa ating buhay. If we continuously listening to the Word of God, then we may inspire to continue living. Sabi ko nga, ano mang pagsubok na dumaan sa ating buhay, kung alam natin ang dyan ang Diyos sa atin, wala tayong hindi madadaid kundi makakayanan natin. Listening is not only listening to other people, but let us try to listen to the voice of God that is within us. Yun ang kulang po sa atin, yung makinig sa salita ng Diyos. Yung makinig sa Diyos. Gusto natin tayo lang palagi nagsasalita. Lord, gusto ko ng ganito. Lord, ganito, ganyan, ganito. Let us pause for a moment and then listen to God. Ano kaya yung gustong iparating sa akin ng Diyos? Ano kaya yung gustong gawin sa akin ng Diyos? And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us try to listen to Him. As we celebrate the Novena Oil in, in honor of our dear patron saint, St. Dominic de Guzman, he also configured himself to Christ. Though he may be rich, but he chose to serve the Lord because he listened carefully to every words of God in his life. Ganun sana tayo. Sabi nga ng Diyos, sabi nga ng ating mga ng word of God, let there be peace. Let there be harmony. Let there be love for one another. But then, anong ginagawa natin? Sometimes, instead of sharing forgiveness, instead of sharing unity to one another, tayo pa yung source of this unity. Tayo pa yung source of chaos. And sometimes, we doesn't accept or hindi natin recognize that we are part of this problem. My dear brothers and sisters, just like Peter, James, and John, they become witnesses of Christ in this transfiguration. When they, they witness Christ transfigured, they change their life. Not only physically, but they change their, their perspective in life. They follow the Lord. They sacrifice their, their life to follow, in following Jesus Christ. They even devoted their life in prayer. Ganon din po sana tayo. Every now and then we receive, we attend the Holy Mass. We witness a transfiguration. Every now and then the priest showed the bread, it transfigured to become the body and then the wine into the blood of Christ. And most importantly, when we receive the body and blood of Christ, there should be transformation, configuration in our life. Meron sanang pagbabagong mangyari sa ating buhay. Hindi lang yung physical. Pag tinanggap natin ng Diyos, magiging blooming tayo, magiging maganda tayo. No. But what is important, there is a change of heart. Merong pagbabago sa ating pag-uugali. Meron yung pagbabago sa pakikitungo natin sa isa't isa. Meron yung pagbabago. The way we talk, the way we act, and the way we relate to one another. Yun sana yung magandang aspect ng ating configuration with our Lord Jesus Christ. And so my dear brothers and sisters, the challenge now for us is when we look to Jesus, we look for Him and let us try to configure ourselves to Him. And at the same time, we listen to His Word every now and then, every day of our life. Because the Word of God is our strength, of, is the source of our strength and our hope, and at the same time, the source of our salvation. Amen. Please stand.
in the transfiguration, the Father revealed the glory of the Son. We do not see His glory now, but as we wait for the kingdom, we pray in His name to the Father. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the glory of Christ may shine through the church as we faithfully listen to Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the beloved Son may lead the nations into the paths of peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may grow in grace, that others may see the light of Jesus in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people who suffer may see their future in their transfigured Redeemer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be transfigured in the likeness of Christ's glory, glorious body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, it is wonderful for us to be here. Receive the prayers of this community assembled to hear your words and to offer the sacrifice of your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings are made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by His radiant splendor, Cleanse us from the stains of sin, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He revealed this glory in the presence of of the chosen witnesses, and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form, which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples, that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled, what so wonderfully shone forth first in his head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Santo, 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 
Panginoong Diyos, napupuno ang langit at lupa ng kalakinan ko. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitasan. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitasan. Pinagpalang na paririto sa ngalan ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitasan. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitasan. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints of Christ throughout the ages, we may merit to be called eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, Sambahin ang balan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang buong mo, 
Ito sa lupa para lang sa langit Bigyan mo po kami ngayon Ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at pa Tawarin mo kami sa aming mga sana para ng pagpapatawag namin sa nakakasala sa aming at huwag mo kami ipanin tulad sa tukso at yadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Please be with you. Cordero ng Diyos na nagpalis ng mga kasalanan ng mundo. Maawa ka sa amin Cordero ng Diyos Maawa ka Cordero ng Diyos Na nag-alis Ng mga kasalanan ng mundo Maawa ka sa amin Cordero ng Diyos Maawa ka Cordero ng Diyos Na nag-alis Ng mga kasalanan ng mundo Ipagkalob ko sa amin Ang kapayapaan Lucille Behold the Lamb of God Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the act of a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you. That which are saints, I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. sa salong walang hanggang Basbasan ang buhay namin Ando naway matulad sa pag-aalay mo Pag-ibig ay kapos Ikaw, Jesus Ang tinapay ng buhay Binaspasan Pinatid, pinialay Buhay na ganap ang sa amin kaloob at pagsasalong walang hanggan. Ikaw, Jesus, ang tinapay ng buhay binasbasan. Pinatid, inialay Buhay na ganap Ang sa aming kaloob At pagsasalong Walang hanggang At pagsasalong Walang hanggang Please stand. Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray. Transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in this glorious transformation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, Espes Nostra Salve. Ad declamamus, ex soles filieve, ad te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. 
Ea-ergo, advocata noastră, ilos tuos, misericorde soclos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis, os hoc exilium ostende o clemens o pia o dulcis virgo maria Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, you prepared the body and soul of Mary, glorious Virgin and Mother, to become the worthy dwelling place of thy Son. Granted by a gracious intercession, in whose commemoration we rejoice, we may be delivered from present evils and from everlasting death. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Fiat. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your love. Thanks be to God. Maraya o Virgen de Pian, asignado en malo lugar. Si cawi a ti tu pan, yena ka na kagayan. Si cawi a ti tu pan, yena ka Please kneel. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, calling to mind the words of David, your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Nay, no dearest mother, shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, Pray for us, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.